Hello everyone, my name is Rakesh Pandey and welcome to the FlexMind channel. Hope you all enjoyed my last video on how to read CSV file in Power Automate Desktop. In today's video, we will see how to run PowerShell script in Power Automate Desktop. As a Power Automate Desktop developer or expert, very frequently we are asked or required to run a PowerShell script in Power Automate Desktop. So let's start. As you can see, my Power Automate Desktop preview is already open and I have already created a blank flow called PowerShell Script Automation. I will just go through that PowerShell Script Automation window. So this is just blank now. Before proceeding to that, I will just show you I have already written a simple PowerShell script which is on my desktop. So I will just open this. So basically this script uh, gets all the services which are in active state. So this is a very basic and simple PowerShell script which I have written. Okay. Now I will go to the Power Automate Desktop window and I will just write read and I will drag the read from text file. Here I will just pass the value of the PowerShell script file which is already saved on my desktop. So I will just use this one just open and I will just save. Now I will just type here PowerShell okay and I will just drag this action in the right hand pane. Here I will use the variable of the file content. So I will just save it. Now in order to show the results I will just display the result in a display message box. I will just drag it here. Message title I will just give PowerShell message. Oh, sorry. Okay. Message to display. I will just show the PowerShell output. And then message box icon. I will just put it as an information and I will just save it. Now we will just run the flow. So as you can see in the display message it's showing all the services which are currently running on my laptop. So this is the way we can use the PowerShell action in Power Automate Desktop. Hope you all will like this video. Please share this video and subscribe our channel for more videos on Power Platform. You can also suggest us the topics for upcoming videos by commenting in comment box. Thanks.